from the very first game of the season, Ryan Anderson has been in trouble for this Pelicans team. Don't get me wrong, he's playing great, averaging 15 points and 7 rebounds, but he's doing all of this off the bench. See, to him, his role should be increased. He wants to be a starter on this team, but we just don't have the room for it. So no matter how many times we pat him on the back, he still comes back to the office complaining about his role. So I had to do something about it, and I had to do it fast. But I just didn't know what to do. So I went out and asked the smartest basketball brain I can think of. Who should we trade Ryan Anderson for? Jimmy Butler. <laughs> Since that trade didn't work, we had to think of something new. It took me hours upon hours to get this idea, but it finally hit me. How about we just ask the subscribers? So initially the first thing I did was I went to trade finder. I tried to find a trade that I think would be comparable, a guy that can come into the team and actually provide the same way that he does. And I came down with four decent trade options and I want to see which ones you guys think is the best one. So I'm going to put them on the screen, explain why I think they could be it, and then I'm going to have you comment down below. Guys, this is one of the videos that I need you guys to comment heavy, like heavy too if you enjoy it of course. Um, so let's get into the very first trade. I asked you guys to vote heavy and that's exactly what you guys did and I appreciate it. Every one of those votes counted. So uh, let's see the results. With 41% of the total votes, option one took it by far. So let's go ahead and make this trade. You guys seem to really want Willie Trail Carly Stein to be on our team. So here we go, we're making the trade. So in him, we'll be getting a guy that's pretty raw. Like he's a nice prospect. He's still really young, great defensive player, but offensively he struggles. So throughout these next couple years that he'll be on the team, we're going to have to improve his offensive game for sure. After making that deal, I was like, wow, I think we just replaced Omri Asik. Think about those two players. They are really similar, man. Omri Asik has been in the league for a couple years, but really the rookie, Willie Cauley Stein, they have the same attributes. Great defensive players, good rebounders, but not so great on the offensive end. So I was like, you know what? We got to get rid of that big contract and Omri Asik and... We're getting another player that you guys wanted us to get. So I'd like to welcome Willie Trill, Carly Stein, and Taj Gibson to the team. So because of this trade, I immediately anticipated that our chemistry will go down quite a bit. Right here, you're going to get a nice little peek at the new rotation. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, you know what? That bench is lacking some shooting touch. So right now, we're going to simcast the very first game with our new roster against the Miami Heat. And you're going to notice one thing. Basically, what I just said, this bench squad was bad offensively. Actually, the team was bad offensively. At this point, I'm like, wow, maybe these trades weren't worth it. You see, we finished with 82 total points as a team. And I was like, you know what? We got to do something about this. In the free agent pool sits a 40-year-old man, two-time NBA champion, and 10-time NBA All-Star just waiting for his number to be called. And guess who called him? Yours truly. Yeah, we called up Ray Allen. Right now, we're putting all our eggs in this basket. This year, we're trying to win, guys. So even though he's 40, we're giving him a deal one year. Maybe this year, he can help us win a championship that's my goal to win the championship so hopefully he can bring that bench scoring that we need and i guess we're gonna have to find out so in this episode we traded for willie cauley stein picked up costa kufas as a plus traded for todd gibson and signed ray allen it was a busy week in new orleans for sure if you enjoyed the video of course as always leave it a like it's the king of the fourth quarter thanks so much for watching i just want to be numb that's why I drink and fight and smoke so much, stay gone. Bitch, leave me alone. I don't wanna be loved. Just obeyed, paid, and respected. Been walked the path of rejection. These mushrooms held with reflection. I used to have a lot of friends. I used to be so fucking cool, but cool ain't what the fuck I want. What else am I supposed to do?